All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation x to the power of three minus eight is equal to zero. So how most people solve this equation is they add eight on both sides. So I get x to the power of three is equal to eight. And then they take the cube root on both sides. So the cube root of x to the power of three is x and the cube root of eight is two. So then they get x equals two, which is a solution to this equation. But actually, there are more than one solution to this equation. So I'm going to rewrite my equation here, x to the power of 3 minus 8 equals 0. And now I'm going to rewrite 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So I get x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. And then now I'm going to use the formula a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 is equal to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So in this case, this turns into x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4 is equal to 0. So now I get two equations. I get x minus 2 equals 0 and x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals 0. So for x minus 2 equals 0, I get x equals 2, which was a solution that we already got. But now see on top of this, we have a whole other equation with two more solutions because it's a quadratic equation. So to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula. So I get negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared, which is 4, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 4, are all, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And this turns into negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 16 over 2, which is equal to negative 2 plus or minus negative 12 over 2 which is equal to negative two plus or minus 12 i over two, which is equal to negative one plus or minus six i. So these are the two more solutions to this equation.